Hey guys, this is Henry from Ovidi again. Today we're going to be starting a new tutorial series that are going to be explaining all the different audio editing techniques that you can apply in Studio One. Today we're going to start with the most basic audio editing, which is the, the, the manual editing, okay? This is something that you can actually apply on any other digital audio workstation. Uh, granted that you have a tool such as the split tool and the arrow tool. Okay, so if basically if you have a, a, a tool that lets you cut or slice an audio event and then another tool that lets you drag them, then you should be able to apply this to any other uh, DAW, okay? This is something, by the way, that we also call pocketing in the Nashville music scene, uh, but you can, in general, it's just manual audio editing, okay? So here we go. Uh, I have recorded these claps here. Um, these are supposed to be played on two and four, the, t the second and quarter note of each bar, each measure. Um, they were not properly recorded. Well, not properly recorded, I would say. They were not properly performed, okay? And you can see that graphically. Like, you can see a transient like this one, for example. It's very far from the actual grid line, okay? So what you would do here, right, and I'm going to go ahead and press play in a little bit, is that by pocketing, you'll be able to make these uh, performance sound tighter to the grid. Like if I had played those claps better. So let's go ahead and press play real quick so that you can listen to the claps with the metronome. Just so that you have an idea of how far they are from, from being um, actually tied to the tempo, okay? So here we go. Okay, so you could hear that. Uh, the first one and the third one are pretty pretty bad. Actually, this third clap is really bad. So here we go. Here are the steps. So first thing you want to do, you want to make sure that um, you get your split tool activated and then turn off snap. Okay, you want to turn that off. Uh, you're going to zoom in, or we're going to zoom in, into the waveforms. Okay, let's. here's the first waveform. As you can see, here's my waveform, here's my transient, and here is my quarter note. So this transient, transient, it was supposed to start here, but since I'm not perfect, I actually played a little before, and that's what we're going to fix. So we're going to go to the, each waveform, and we're going to slice right where the transient starts, just with the split tool, okay? So that's one. Now we go to the second one. There it is. Now this third one. Oops. There it is. And then the last one. There it is. Okay. So now that you have your um your transient you have you have uh slice the the audio event now you want to go back to the snap turn it back on and really quick i'm just going to get them separated just so that i can arrange them later so okay actually let's do this i'm going to separate them way more so uh, let's start with the first one. This was supposed to happen on the second quarter note, right? So it should be here, 1.2. So I'm going to click and drag. There it is. Now the second one, this was supposed to happen on the fourth quarter note. So I'm going to click and drag. Since the snap function is on, it should just drag there. Um, and when I do that, I want to make sure that the the start of that audio event happens before the actual um, the actual grid mark. So if you click and drag, then you make sure that the audio event um, starts before. So when you do a crossfade, you don't do it right on top of the transient, but a little before, okay? So you do something like this. So you can see, uh -huh, let me do this one now. So as as I said, you're doing this because you're gonna have to crossfade. So you want to make sure that 
the crossfade doesn't happen on the actual transient, but before. So this third one was supposed to happen on the second quarter note of that second measure. Uh huh. And then the last one was supposed to happen on that fourth quarter note. So as you can see now, if you zoom in, they're pretty well aligned now, right? Pretty well aligned. If you click on these audio events and press X, you'll create crossfades. There it is. If I zoom in, there's a crossfade. So if we press play now, uh, it should sound way better. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. So that's pocketing, okay? This is something that we did with claps now, but this is something you could apply to drums, for example. Uh, you could do it on kick drum, snare drum, toms. Uh, if you group your um, your drum tracks, you might be able to do it as a group, so it'll be easier. Um, and as I said, this is a completely manual uh, procedure that you could do on any other digital audio workstation. Um, in the case of Studio One, this is really easy and fast because we have this snap function, right? That it'll help you snap that transient where you just where you slice right into that grid into that grid mark. So uh, that makes it really easy. Well, that was manual editing in Studio One. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.